guys and welcome to another big haul. If you're wondering what that noise is, that is my big huge fan blasting around a lot of air around my room because it's f***ing hot. I'm not going to lie, steam is literally rising from my body. I'm sweating from every pore, whatever. So already this month I received quite a lot of books, so I'm just going to crack on with it straight away. The first book that I got in July was from an author, it's called The Silent Deal, it is by an author called Levi Stack. The author emailed me and asked me if I'd be interested in reviewing their book. So I checked their book out on Amazon and I looked at the reviews and the reviews were saying this book is absolutely amazing, there were five star reviews, that everyone must read it. So I was like, well, actually, this book must be good then. <laughs> and it does actually sound quite intriguing. It's about Pitch and Romulus, which are two peasant boys. They dig too deep into a town's strange past and awaken the wrath of the mysterious overlord. Enter the bold lands of the Russian Empire where the colourful characters of the card game dwell. Then I received a, another book from an author, and that is Light and Dark. It's by DM5. And this author has actually sent this book to quite a lot of booktubers. And it's actually quite a big book. If I put this against my head, that is how big this book actually is. A little bit scary. But it's about this boy called Danny who is 13 years old. And it's all about being accepted into the White Rock Academy of Illumination, a school for young squires destined to become knights of the light and battle the forces of dark with magical powers called Wonders. So it sounds like a real great fantasy novel. The next book that I received in July actually came in this great envelope. The publishing house like must know my favourite colour because it was in blue. Like what an awesome envelope to send something in. So, so totally keeping that envelope. But inside the envelope was the book The Drowning by Rachel Ward and the publicist that, that they definitely recommend it for me. They think I'd like it and it's about this boy called Carl who wakes up on a cold lake. His brother is being zipped into a body bag and a wet girl is being held nearby. What happened in the water? He can't remember. All he knows is that he must find out before the truth comes back to drown him. So it sounds like a real great YA thriller. Then I purchased I Awaken by Meg Cabot and it is the third book in the Van series and I have the other two books but I freaking adore this one cover like it's gorgeous and even on the back and if I open it up it is absolutely gorgeous on the inside look at that absolutely gorgeous but obviously this is the third book that's continuing on in that series I haven't read that series so I don't know a lot what it's about because I actually purchased the first book in the series like ages ago but I am like a big fan of the Meg Cabot and we all know this so I'm pretty much gonna like this series let's be honest. So I hauled this book in my last haul because it was the second book I managed to find the first book in this series for really really cheap on Amazon a seller was selling it for brand new and that is Earth Girl and it's by Janet Edwards so there you have it really love the front cover as well as the bag is just gorgeous but what this book is about is about this girl and she is one in a thousand that is born with an immune system that cannot allow them to survive anywhere but earth and it's based in the far future where the universe is divided into two different groups and it just sounds like really really interesting and it sounds like a really great storyline then i got hallowed by Cynthia Hand. I had to find the cover that actually matches the cover that I got of Unearthly and I read Unearthly last month, absolutely loved it so I had to get Hallowed to carry on with these stories so I'm looking forward to reading the next book. So then I had a little bit of an eBay obsession where I got back into eBay again and I managed to win some bids on like really really great books that are out this year, really great deals and the first book is actually a brand new book that is out and it's brand new, unused and that is Boy Nobody and this is by Alan Sadoff and as you can see there it's got orange tips, really great nick, not being read whatsoever and this is about Boy Nobody, who are they? New town, new name, new mission, kill your target and move on, no fear, no sympathy, no remorse, for nobody is about to find out who he really is. Surprisingly, I actually got this book for just 99p. 
what a bargain. The next fabulous seal that I'm so proud that I actually won was the Iron Fate series by Julie Kagawa and oh my gosh like this book set was just sold like well cheaply even including postage and the fact that they were selling like all the books as well I was just like I need to have those but like three of these books absolutely really good nick no creases whatsoever but one book does have like some creases but they did include it for like really really cheap in the series but I have heard really really good things about this series and I'm looking forward to actually starting it. Then I also got from eBay the last vampire by Christopher Pike. They are bind ups of book 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in each of these. These are also in fabulous condition, no creases to the spine, no dents or anything, perfect condition and pretty much like new condition super excited that i got these i got these all for like 99p each also from ebay i got entangled by cat clark i really love her red hair there and this has been on my wish list for quite a while and i managed to find this which is 99p as well but it's about this girl called grace and she wakes up in a white room with a table pens and paper and no clue how she got there so this sounds like a great thriller sort of book then i've got some review books from penguin first book they sent me was listening for Luca. This is by Suzanne Lafleur. Oh, what an awesome surname that just rolled off my tongue completely. But this is actually a hardback copy that they sent me, so real nice of them to send me that. But this is about a girl called Sienna, and she sees what isn't there and collects what is left behind. Her brother Luca has not spoken to her for over a year. Can the secrets of the past help Sienna break her brother's silence? Whoa. Then they sent me books two and three in this series, and they are called Barely Breathing and Out of Breath. They're both by Rebecca Donovan. I have Hold Reason to Breathe, which is this one just here. So now I have the series. Hopefully I can start it soon. And it sounds like a real great series. But this girl called Emma who trusts no one and she can't let anyone in, even when she knows that all oh, they're gonna find is just darkness. Hmm. Interesting. And then Penguin also sent me Between the Lines by Tomorrow Weber. This is a new adult novel about a girl called Emma. She's starring in her major film opposite Hollywood It Boy 3. Whoa. Easy was good. Hopefully I'm going to like this too. Then I got another book from eBay and that is called The Fool and it's by Claire Mel. This is actually a brand new book and it's out at the moment. And this is about not so distant future society has been divided into pures and crazies according to the results of a DNA test, but Anna has uncovered dangerous evidence that the tests are fake. But this also started like with the glimpse book that's also by Claire Mel and I got this so so cheap. I literally got this for like 99p as well. Like what a bargain for a brand new book. Imposter by Jill Hathaway. Again, this is a brand new book, brand new condition, unread. And this is about V, who starts coming into weird places, not knowing what she's done. Someone is getting inside her head and messing with her mind, but she's unprepared for the game to take a deadly turn. This time, the hands of blood on them are hers. So it does sound like a real great thriller. Well, this was a bit of a surprise because I was not expecting for this to arrive whatsoever. But Bloomsbury very kindly sent me a physical copy of The Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mars. This is the second book that is after Throne of Glass. I do own Throne of Glass, but I have not read it yet. But from what I can gather, these books are about assassins. But I've heard so many great things about Throne of Glass. I really do want to read it soon. And now I've got this, this is a great excuse to actually start reading it. But thank you so much, Bloomsbury, for sending me this book. Whilst I'm on the subject of thanking people, I just want to thank publishers and authors in general for sending me your books for review. I am so, so grateful. I know I don't say it enough. But I'm eternally grateful because I love reviewing books, I love reading them, so thank you so, so much for sending me your books, guys. So there you have it, those are the books that I've received so far in July. eBay is a great place, but it's also a bit bad at the same time. But I hope you have enjoyed this haul, guys. Let me know in the comment box below if you have read any of these books. Let me know, we can discuss it. Give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. I hope you are going to have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!